An Army colonel from here in Sioux City says he set off to change the lives of as many people as he could, spending decades in the United States Army and National Guard. KCAU 9 News reporter Lydia Vasquez shares some of his most memorable moments in the military in this week's edition of Veterans Voices. Colonel John Mansfield joined the United States Army back in 1966. It was the beginning of three decades he'd go on to serve. Toward the end of that 31 years, one of the exercises that I was recalled active duty to work on was Fort Camino's 95 Norte and uh, Joint Task Force Timberwolf. Mansfield was off to Guatemala. For the next year, he and his fellow troops would build a whole new town from scratch. We had 700 pieces of equipment that we sent down there. Uh, loaded on rail cars, went on to what they call a, a row row, it's roll on, roll off ship, load everything up. First, starting with water. Three ladies walked out and they had just huge smiles on their face. What she said was, I can see the trees on the mountains now. And that still gets to me a little bit, but because all three of them can now see. Can you imagine that? Water wells were only the beginning. Mansfield's unit built two clinics, remodeled three schools, and built three new bridges. They also brought 7,500 pairs of glasses for the community. And that, he says, was the moment he'll always remember. I thought about putting in electric, but they didn't have electricity in a lot of these villages. So we put in manual water pumps, and so we drilled water wells, and they didn't have water wells. They would get the water from a creek or from a river, and it was... Field says he felt privileged to be in a position to help others, and he'd do it all again if given the chance. Another part talks about God won't ask you for more than you're able and capable of giving, and so maybe God was not asking me, but you know, the the people to give and we could and so it means a lot that uh, that we can help others for veterans voices lydia vasquez kcau 9 news